Him. So actually, you know, if they try and play around JW, they could end up trying to do that all day. And we do have, uh, we did have a really quick disconnect there. So sorry about that, guys. So apparently, the uh, there was some sort of issue with the Go TV, but we seem to be back on track now. And Fnatic obviously took the round. Yeah, look at this. Now it's yeah. starting to get out of completely out of control for Fnatic. Money is going to be a real. It's not a problem for them for the rest of this half, practically. I'd, I mean, I'd love to see Property try and go for like three people out of the apartment. Like, try and flash and smoke their way out. Just go straight up balcony, basically? Yeah. Just jump down into the pit and try and yeah. overwhelm? I mean, you could do that sort of thing if they gather up properly. Pronax has been playing in the pit. They kind of have a feeling for that now, Team Property. At least they should know that, okay, Pronax, you know, his likelihood, he's, likely he's going to be backing off there. And there you go. He takes the peak, and he's going to have to fall back. But now they know that they've tagged up Pronax. So this could be a good point for uh, Property to try and go in on. Yeah, this is kind of how I'd want them to set up. But um, they've lost a man already, so that makes it a little bit weaker. But yeah, if they went there and then the last two people go by uh, by quad, essentially, I feel like that could give them a bit of an opening. JW is going to take down one and flush a perfect timing through the smoke. Set is going to get picked off as well. No problem at all here for Fnatic. Just a perfect read on what the incoming T's were doing. Yeah, flush as well, just hitting that timing so well. And that's communication as well from his teammates saying, okay, they're rushing short, they're pushing up short now. Flusher knows, okay, just take the risk, go through, and he catches the man looking at mid. And it's not necessarily a bad play from the man looking at mid as well because he's looking to see who's going to be rotating over from B. They could be pushing down Banana into mid, right? So it makes sense for the T to be looking that way because he's got that smoke down. But Flusher just doing, you know, just doing Flusher things. Pushes through that smoke and annihilates him. And now, look at this. Straight aggression coming out here from Property. Yeah, they get close to JW and he just pulls out that C-Set 75, takes someone with him anyway. Delpan finally going to take him down, but it's too late in the day here. It's a one on four, one on one on three for a Spitfire here. And he will get dropped by Flusher at the end. So that, I mean, that round looks almost effortless from Fnatic. Like, they didn't even have to really uh, break stride to try and get that round home. 11 and 0. Uh, it's just a, a climb here from them. Fnatic, yeah, it's, I mean, they still maintain the money. They still do everything right. I mean, property. This point what can could property try and do? go for like a standard B push as well with the smokes and everything. But again, they need to know where JW is. And at this point, he's a top of, uh, of Banana. So where do you want to go? Where do you want to use your smokes? They only have three left. Oh, he's pushing aggressively now as well. They're really trying to get in on this angle here, Fnatic. JW could potentially push all the way through if he wanted to. It's going to be Delpan up in apartments, kind of peeking around, however, but Pronax is hanging around on balcony. He could go for a peek, but he's going to go down onto short instead. And that's to set up the crossfire here, the crossfire at mid. Pronax just needs to be careful about them pushing in behind him, and he spots him just in time, but that's not good enough, except that Delpan takes out set for Pronax. Not the good time to come up with a team kill. This is their big opportunity. They're in the site. They just need to get on that and get the bomb down, and Delpan and Emilio are going to hit some good shots. Crim's coming up from behind. Really fast rotation here from Fnatic, but it's still a little bit late because Property... They finally made it onto a site, and they are going to get the bomb plant. JW could have probably traded out for an AK at this point. I mean, he's getting within AK range, but because it's JW, it's not even a big surprise that he's going to stick with that AWP. Don't think many other players would have chosen this, but he's just that type of guy. And he's going to sneak out, does spot the guy down there. Delpan's going to go down immediately. Second shot comes through now with the C set, and he's actually going to go down, but he's done enough for Crims to easily be able to pick off that kill on Spitfire. I mean, JW. The J Whirlwind, he's here, storming through your bomb site. I mean, yeah, JW, he holds on to the AWP and he comes in at the perfect place, picks off the man in pit, and then just makes it look easy picking off another guy on the site. He should have had that third kill as well there. Amazed that the guy survives, but still, geez, JW, he can walk in at any time and it's just like him imposing his will. He's like, okay, you're all going to die now. We're going to get this bomb site. And yeah. That's why he's seen as one of the best offers and all-around players in the world right now. He's just so good. And this time, they do try and push top of Banana, which I think is a good idea. It's going to be Crimson Olofmeister holding with Flusher potentially getting there quick. JW's back in the middle, so again, more distractions, more uh, chaos basically on Fnatic side here. And Property, well, they don't make any kind of breakthrough here. Crims and then Flusher with the follow-up third kill. No. Peak flash there, that did not work for Flush. Well, that did not work for Jumpy there. Flush will find him. Spitfire, the last man alive here. He's blocked off by the smoke as well, and he gets overwhelmed. Flush is wow. gonna walk in with the CZ of his own and put one through his dome. And now 13 rounds. 13 rounds for Fnatic in this first half. It's looking like a perfect run here for them. Don't have to worry about money for the rest of this. I mean, the, the next two rounds, they're perfectly fine. It's just property. They, they continue to force. They continue to just go for Galil armor, AK armor, very limited nades. So then it really does come down to the rifle work, except that they've been losing all of their duels. That's the real dangerous part here. 
if you're going to rely on your rifles, you need to at least be hitting the shots, and that's just not happening right now for property. JW just got barrels of confidence here on him. Actually, he's finally he going to go down. Yeah, he legs Spitfire down to six, so could have almost been a kill. Uh, Pronax just needs to land a bullet here, and Spitfire's gone. A lot of damage done to Emilio. There's the grenade for Spitfire. Pronax, is he going to flash himself in? Said does turn around. And actually, will still get the kill on Pronax. That's pretty nicely done. Three on three. Another opportunity here for Property to get at least a round on the board in the first half. Small steps, right? Small steps, exactly. But they still, I mean, they still have a minute left and they need to take their time. But then Crims finds Emilio at the bottom of Banana, at the bottom of mid. And now it's man advantage for Fnatic. Flush of peeks forward from Pit, however, and Set finds that headshot. But look at Olaf Meister's position. He can drop the bomb carrier. He drops the bomb carrier before he can get around the corner. But he does get that bomb down. Set. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if he was trying to catch all of Meister's grenade. It was a nice attempt, though. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this perfection right here. Oh, no. And it's like Olaf Meister. It's that walking away from explosions move me moment, right? You know, Michael Bay. You know, eat just your heart out. Puts on his sunglasses. Yeah, he just walks around that corner like, my job is done. It's all good. Well, yeah. they picked up another AWP. This one on all of Meister. Certainly not going to make things easier for, for uh, property. Flush is storming down, gunning with the AK. I feel like this is just one of those days. I, I think property can play a lot better than they're showing us right here. I think they're, they're hitting a bit of an off day and Fnatic, well, they're just very good on Inferno. Yeah, uh, that's a good reason, right? I mean, what were the stats going into Stockholm again? Wasn't the only time they had lost Inferno was once and it was in the Grand Finals of Gamescom, basically, versus Nip? Yeah, something and like that. Out of like, out of like 20 times on the map? Well, actually, Property, now that we're sort of, you know, really raining on their parade here, they're actually doing something great this round. They managed to do it, but it is partly because Fnatic were pushing all over the place, mm -hmm. and Property actually decided to stand still. So we can't even really credit Property with coming up with a great strat, apart from just being patient, which in itself is, you know, people say it's a virtue and all that. So I guess, you know, it, it comes out for them this time. It's, it's a good job they managed to wait long enough for, for Fnatic to lose their minds and just go pushing, but I don't think Fnatic really care anymore. I mean, it just it doesn't worry them at this point. No, that's but that's it. the thing. They have 14 rounds on the board, right? I'm just amazed that Fnatic actually didn't push out even more. It was almost like they were making a statement just saying, you know, no, we're going to, we'll, we'll go ahead and do crazy stuff on the last round of the half, right? You know, when we clearly got it in the bag. At this point, yeah, it's, it's going to be really tough here. Fnatic need two rounds to net this win. They go into the pistol round now. Curious to see what they, exactly they buy, and it is going to be double nades on Pronax and Crims. All right, so now they have the nades to be able to take pretty much any site that they want. They could go for A, they could go for B. They have options here, so Fnatic always very smart with their pistol rounds as well. They're very clever when it comes down to this. Pronax, of course, the mastermind behind it all. Yeah, property went for three guys stacking B at least early on, and now they're going to rotate run back towards Archway. So that's pretty common for uh, the CT setup on the property side. And I don't really mind that. I don't want them to. I mean, their, their only chance of getting back in the game is winning this round, so... Going crazy is maybe not the smartest move. Though a couple of smokes on Fnatic is uh, an indication they could be up to something. One of them is on Pronax, and I think he's going to lop it over towards Archway. It seems like that's the angle, or is it going to be towards... All right, that way it's all the way over towards... Um, the library. Yeah. Unless, no, it just bounces yeah, in bounces the cover of Arch, yeah. Uh, he could have jumped and put it further if he wanted to. But yeah, he's just going to smoke off towards Arch. Now they're all going to collapse on Pit and the Arch or a quad side here. And Emilio has already gone. Crims with a nice shot there. Delpan not going to get stand a chance against Flush's Glock. Not at that range. And it's a five on three. The bomb's going to go down here. And they have one more smoke left, Fnatic, which they saved for the after plant position. That's really nicely done. Exactly. And that makes that, that, makes that position untenable. Jumpy, of course, is going to get taken out. Set my, manages to step in and take out JW. JW. But this is why that smoke is so powerful, because you get funneled in here, and Olaf Meister will find set just as it happens here. Spitfire not trying to take that fight at range, but there's four members alive for Fnatic. They're all going to take the fight at the same time. Everybody low on Fnatic, but property at the end of the day. Fnatic only choose to face when they know that they've got the round 100% in the bag. Yeah, and they all picked up a kill each. That was a team ace for Fnatic. So, yeah, this is just a, a really scary machine, right? This is how Fnatic should have played. Um, at Stockholm too, yeah. and we know they can. Um, so uh, it's good to see that the Fnatic team haven't some sort of, you know, haven't had some sort of breakdown. That chicken is tragically gone forever. I actually think you can even make food out of that anymore. I think it's just it's just disappeared. They broke that chicken down as well. Zet still trying to play the angles here. However, it's going to be a pistol armor buy out of property, and there you go, Jumpy <laughs> with the Nova gets the headshot on Olaf, takes him out. 
But Fnatic are already past this point. They're going to be able to get up onto Arch fairly quickly here. There's only one guy holding alive on the side, apart from Emilio, who somehow finds the fadeaway headshot on Pronax. Yeah, and Fnatic are a little bit inconsistent now. They're sort of just running back towards uh, Long or so Banana here, and they're going to run right into Spitfire. So a little bit too much chaos coming out. And Jumpy, well, he's looking for the revenge here. He's going to take down his, uh, the first guy, and then Crims falls next to Zed. So property, they, they avoid being 16 one for some reason, I felt like Jumpy was a, a crocodile with an AK right there. Because he came, up. he came lurking out of the river, you know, out of the pond. You know, and he just gunned this guy down, and then he just slowly sank back down into the pond. Look at this. He's just going to, like, no, I'm not here anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go and sit in the bottom and just ponder life. Yeah, the be if only he could have, like, dragged his prey down with him, you know. Yeah, right? Latches onto it. Just slowly. That's what I'm saying. You, you know, did I just call him a bison? Oh, great spray down Telpan. That's beautiful. He heard them coming, timed it perfectly, the audio, and then, well, he's going to get three kills. Can't get the next one on Pronax, unfortunately. That was still a really beautiful spray down. That That's the kind control. that you don't see that too much anymore, where someone just decides to kill three or four people like that. Uh, it's fun. We've seen it now, like, what, twice now? Well, Delpan's right now at Olafmeister as well, you know, second rounds like that. Still interesting situations. But they've still got some gear left on Fnatic here. They've gone for a helmet armor buys, at least. Pronax only with the Kevlar. But then now they've got a gun to work with on Pronax's side. Olafmeister, he's got that CZ. Is he admiring the sky or is he actually setting up for a smoke? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Ooh. And this is a smoke towards the pit. It's, I think it's going to land a little bit further back than the truck. I think this is supposed to land on the, the left-hand side of the, of the pit, essentially. As soon as he goes rushing up mid, however, Spitfire's already hunkered down there. So There's even a guy in the middle, so when he walks out of yeah, mid, yeah. Exactly, Spitfire's waiting right there, so Pronax is going to be in for a sad surprise. Yeah, that yep. smoke actually lands not exactly where it's supposed to, so a little bit of a failure there. Maybe that's why he was hesitating. He couldn't remember exactly where it was. Uh, Pronax is going to walk right in and actually will still take out Seth. That's just got to be annoying, right? That was so close, Avilio. That was also a double kill. That was way too close. But here we go. We get to see Delphan's moment again. Just very nice control there at the end, actually. Moving up, trying to fade away around that corner, but he still manages to control it well enough to pick up the third shot. And the fact that he starts shooting before he gets around the corner mm -hmm. is just a nice detail as well. That pre-fire. Like, I know you're there. And then I'm sure Delpan though, like he's just, you know, he wasn't that confident. He was probably just thinking like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And then he manages to do it. A lot of grenade damage being dealt out here. And said will take three members down with the M4. And the round is going to be over in just 10 seconds. So I don't know. Property, if nothing else, they're making this look a little bit prettier. For them to win the next 11 rounds in a row, I don't know. We need to see some sort of collective breakdown and meltdown on the Fnatic side, I think. Pretty much. We need to see basically a couple of them just log out of the game and uh, mentally forfeit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, that can happen. Oh, look at this. Jumpy pushing down. Bit of a Navi play here coming out of property. They want to get control of mid and they're going to do it. Emilio finds Crims at the same time in second mid. That drops the bomb there. And Fnatic, just like that, are down to three guys. Looking a bit rough here for them. Oh, is this flash going to work? They already flashed down. Jumping in and Pronax gets taken out. Property. With some very intelligent play coming out right here. Flush is going to get shut down, and it's Olofmeister in a one on five. And he's already been discovered here. This hay cart's not going to give him that much coverage, especially if he's going to stand in the fire. It's hay, Olofmeister. You want to get away from it when it's burning. And so, I mean, he's got that bomb, but that's about all we can say here. He should be found on just about any second. So, overall, a power play from Property showing Fnatic. Look, you may have got 14 rounds in that first half, but we are going to do the exact same thing. Now I wonder if the next round property decide to change up the pace again and really just play the clock versus Fnatic. Fnatic are going to have to eco after this round. So yeah. There is that. I mean, well, for... Well, no, yeah, they haven't got... They shouldn't have enough money for a buy here. If they do buy, it'd be just Galil armor, pretty much. Yeah, So pretty I mean, much. Fnatic are going to have to play the clock now at some point because they may have to wonder, you know, our property just going to try and push again, right? Because this is one of those plays. You kind of just whip it out and you kind of cross your fingers and hope it's going to work. And in this case, it did. Now Fnatic have to worry about... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Delpan getting him back! Health. He had one health left. I mean... I don't know, I feel like the plays of the day for this match so far have I've been really, really weird, right? I'm thinking nades, man. Oh, we see it from the other angle too, because we got the, the most... Uh, there it is, look at this. Like, we've got we've got this one, got one guy burning. We had the other one where some guy hit a chicken dead on. That was kind of a cool play as well. <laughs> That's a play of the day yeah, right there's there. There's another chicken down there that just exploded these guys, man. 
Well, you were right though. Fnatic are going to be ecoing here. This is Tech Nine on Crims, which we've been trying to look out for because it's been recently uh, buffed. Delpan with a bit of a weird smoke, and the C set here actually it's going to get some help for Emilio, but. He'll still lose his life, and they got to make sure they don't at least lose to an eco round. That would be humiliating, if nothing else. Tech Nine takes Emilio down. Cribs with the Tech Nine, and he's holding the corner. Guess what? This is just this is just such a brutal weapon as well. Because of that, because of that, it has an extended range on the headshot. It's farther than the P250 and the 5.7. The Tech Nine has the longest out of the pistols, like one shot headshot range. So. Just like peekaboo, get around that corner, and Crims gets a triple kill with the Tech Nine. That's what it's about, right?